Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to Pacific Paradise and welcome back to this island that we find ourselves on last time. We found ourselves a great white and we turned him into an ex-great white. Yep, so he's got the jaw that does all the wibbly stuff and that's slightly different to the tiger which doesn't have the jaw that does the wibbly stuff and it's completely different to the hammerhead which has just got the little, well, kind of looks like the bad guys from Pitch Black actually. Or perfect dark? No, pitch black. And uh, not to be confused with a snack. Or in fact, a crab. We have a beach of doom. We have doom beach. Not to be confused with echo beach. Because that is far away in time. And speaking of time, it is 12.47 in... 12.48 in the afternoon. We should probably pack up our stuff. So we went last time back to our home island via the, uh, the, the, wonderful, uh, the wonderful method of just flying back i thought we could go and explore one of the other islands i think there's an island out oh there is an island out there specifically there's an island out there so we've kind of looked at this one um i think we're just gonna leave the beach full of death question mark and pick up all the other stuff what is in there what is here i don't think we, we need any of this no we don't um we don't i mean yes we got plenty of rawhide but we got plenty of rawhide at home anyway. Oh, the rawhide at home looks a little bit stupid. I know. So I'm going to have some water because apparently we're about to have a bit of a problem with water. Right, that's fine. And then we're going to have to... Now this is a little bit of a problem because we have a physics object on another physics object. The gyrocopter is in fact on this raft, which are both physics objects. They will fight each other. If we get into a storm, it's going to be a bit of a problem. I don't quite know what to do. Whether to specifically, um, I don't know. Oh. Are we caught on rocks here? We might be caught on rocks. I don't know whether to actually um, park the gyrocopter, uh, park the raft up, and then use the gyrocopter to fly to an island. Now, are we going to drift out to sea? That's a question. How much fuel do we have? Enough. We're going to drift sideways a little bit. I'm just looking at a sea, wondering if that's a storm out there, or whether that's just the just a cloud going past. I think it's just a cloud going past. Okay. So we'll give it full radar. Hopefully we don't hit that wreck. We're gonna hit the wreck. Oh, uh, okay. Reverse, 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 reverse. Opposite rudder. Oh, we have to sort of three point turn this. There is literally no turning. Every time... Mm, that mast. Oh, we can just drift past the mast. Okay, give a full left rudder and just drift past the mast. And hopefully we don't hit the wreck underneath it, because that would be terrible. Uh, we have other issues, though. In fact, um, since since I might be explaining it to a new audience, hello and welcome to Stranded Deep. We are kind of fairly advanced in the, the stuff that we've been able to build. Uh, one of the things we've been able to build is this helicarrier, which is a raft with a little recess section which we can put the gyrocopter in. However, however, we've got to be a little bit careful as we're going through the water because as you get close to an island, what will happen is things will load in. That means there's a little stutter. And the little stutter can cause the physics objects, especially the ones around you, to shudder or shuffle. That will mean that if that gyrocopter shudders or shuffles and hits the side of one of these little walls um, of our raft, it will cause the raft to flip up. It will just be upside down all of a sudden. Also, hitting a rock is a bad idea, especially these underwater rocks. So I'm going to try and turn us as, as much as we can and then pop us onto the beach, maybe question mark. No, that's not going to happen. All right. Anchor down because we can get to the anchor from here. Oh, hello. That looks like a very fast shark out there. So uh, it is now fairly late in the day, 2.55. What is that swimming out there? Mmm, that looks like it could be a hammerhead. It's a hammerhead. Yep. One of the fastest and most kind of fastest sharks in the game. It will mess you up. Do we even have our... Oh yeah, we do. We have the spear gun. Um, it is kind of getting late in the day though, and it's going to get harder to see. We've only... Oh, clay. Uh, we don't have that much daylight left, so what we should do is explore the island while we have daylight, and then deal with the shark in the morning. Probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. Good idea. So, it is... Whoa! Ah! 
He just swam under the island. So there were a couple of problems with Stranded Deep. Um, first of all, the shadows. What? He just hit the raft. He just bumped the raft a little bit. Yeah, he's swimming under the island. He's going to be a pain in my butt if I don't kill him. What do we do? What do we do? Oh, wait a second. I think that problem might have actually solved itself. Oh, no, it didn't. Can you stop swimming under the island? That's illegal. What? The heck? What do I do? What do I do? He could bump our raft out to sea, even though the anchor's down. See, he's where he's bumped the raft, the anchor is now inside the raft because a physics object, if it hits another physics object, even though we can't manipulate the raft while the uh, while the anchor is down, he can bump it around. In fact, we can bump the raft around with a log or a tree or the gyrocopter, even with the raft down, uh, even with the anchor down. I'm going to leave him to it because he can't get to us when we're on the island itself. So, hmm. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Uh, the other thing is, yes, the shadows. So the further out from the center of the world you come, closer to the edge of the map, uh, the shadows are going to start getting a little bit glitchy, unless you say you're anti-aliasing to TXAA. However, however, there's a bit of a problem there, because TXAA means that things kind of ghost. So if I take my axe and I swing it, you get a little bit of a ghost where the arm is. That's just... That's just TXAA, and in fact, it is advised that you do not turn it on. You use FXA or Fast Approximate Anti-Sing, or just turn it off entirely. That's uh, that doesn't really work. So we've got it on in order to tame the shadows. I submitted a bug report, but I don't think anyone anyone looked at it. So whatever. It is the world that we live in. So we've got a giant pig on the island. He's going to be fun. Oh, and a snake. I can see a snake from here. Snakes like. Oh, hello. I'm a snake. Snake shadows are a little bit broken. Um, snakes can stretch out to infinity. It takes two hours to take a snake out. Do we do the snake now? I don't think snakes regen. One. You gotta aim a lot lower than you. Oh, hey. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm gonna get. Uh, freaking. There we go. Oh, whoa. Bah, pig. Don't do that. Right, uh, we're gonna need to make some more arrows. That's already a problem. Hi, you, uh, can you not? One, I don't know how many it's gonna take. Eight, maybe? I don't think we got eight. No, we've got another few, a couple. Mm, I'm gonna pick the arrows out of the snack. Right, grab you and just toss them into the ocean. Get him out of the way, I guess. No, I'll put you on the beach. He's got a couple of small meat on him. It's a night snake. Um, not to be confused with a night trap, which I do have for the Sega Mega CD, which was, oh, that was a crazy game. Um, it was a, an FMV game, a full motion video game. And one of the things about it was that the Mega CD was made by Sega of Japan without actually telling Sega of America what they were doing. So they came up with this add-on for the Sega Mega Drive, or the Sega Genesis if you happen to be in America. And um, yeah, the Japanese were just like, yeah, we've, we've developed this thing based on a Times 1 uh, CD drive. And Sega of America was just like, at Times 1 CD drive? It can only play back at Times 1 speed. And Sega of Japan were like, yeah, cool, have fun with that. So you have a very, uh, Night Trap has a very small... Uh, bonk. Has a very small video window. Oof. Oof, big oof. And it has to play four videos at once, I think, in order to make the FMV work. Can you not be alive? Did I just shoot that? No. No, it looks like it shot into the ground, but it didn't. So, um, yeah, I'm going to pull you back to what passes as base camp as the sun goes down and what was an interesting day in paradise. Um, yeah, Night Trap, Sega Mega CD. You can get it on Steam now. That's uh, definitely a thing. And it has actual actors in it. And what you do is you go, uh, you watch the FMV cutscenes with all the actors doing their things. We're going to save and sleep. Save and sleep. I need to find water. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got water. Mmm. Yeah, so as the actors are, um... 
doing the stuff in the house. Vampire sort of vacuum men will turn up with vacuum cleaners and then try and suck the blood out of them. It's kind of Saturday morning cartoon. It's a little bit weird. Um, but it's, yeah, it's good. That's good. And you activate traps to get the vampires to go away. Or the augers. And it's got Dana Plato in it. Uh, okay, so... Health is quite low, food is low, water is... Uh, I tell you what, we're going to have that... going to have that ration. Which means our health is going to tippity top. Because the food and water is now fully topped up. Uh, our ammunition is now 8. Which means we have a bit of a problem if we want to take out that shark. I don't know if the shark will still be in the area. If it spawns... And we need to go out to make it spawn. Um, it will spawn... Again, as a hammerhead, I think. Uh, I think it, it um, on the spawn table, it's definitely going to be like, oh, it was a hammerhead. It's still going to be a hammerhead. That was a little pig. I thought, whoa, another snake. No, nope. no, no. So we're going to grab some lashings. I'm going to grab some, uh, yes. Oh, there's a little baby crab. Well, not, I mean, baby crab compared to the big crabs that go around. Going, oh, hello, I'm a big crab. You want a, want a piece of meat? I'm like, no, I don't want. I don't want a piece of you. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Craft, craft, and then I guess we just pick these bits up. Yeah, we do, because that's what we can do. All right. So we're gonna hit this, turn that into a stick. So we got two sticks. Hmm, two sticks, two lashings. Okay. We got eight. It takes. Oh, hello. Talking about big crabs. Uh, what is it? No. I didn't want not like this. Why did you have to do this? We can actually get the crab. Ah, no, no, no. Well, he can't come in the sea because it's illegal. Crabs, it, it's, yeah, they, they can't come in the sea. They are not marine creatures, famously, as they wander on land. Ow, okay, no, this is going to hurt me more than it hurts you, I guess. Unless you explode. There you go. Oh, we left one beach of death. I need to come and make another one. That kind of... Sorted that nodding head problem out. Cool. Okay, fine. What is our health situation? We got three bars of health. We have less health than we did before. That's a bit of a problem. That's a storm. A bit of a muddy storm because of the anti-aliasing we're using. If we look up, then it starts to rain. Then we look down. With a storm, for some reason, the rain sprites don't appear until you look up. I've noticed that, and I don't know why. Um, so the question is, is the raft in a good place? If the raft is in a good place, it'll be in a calm location. And we don't have to worry about the... Uh, we don't have to worry about... Let's get back on the raft. We don't have to worry about the gyrocopter getting a bit lively, slamming into the side of the raft and flicking both of them into the abyss. If it's out where the waves can get to it, oof, where the waves can get to it, uh, yeah. So we, this probably wouldn't sail very well in a storm because of the two physics objects. What? Ah! Oh, we got a little bit more health. Okay, we're going to need still need ammunition. It's still a thing we need. Oh, we should should have built still. That would get us some water. Mm, I don't know if you've got any cloth. Not in my pants. Certainly. Oh, okay. Hoppity hoppity. Do we have any cloth? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay, what is it, what is it going to take to make a still? Uh, can we make one while the storm is still raging? Probably. Probably. Um, it is three rocks, one lashing, uh, two lashings, because we need to make a coconut flask and most of a palm tree. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, donk. Oh. I can't drop anything. One, two. Oh, one, two. Pick that up. Uh, empty my pants. Okay. Three rocks. One, uh, two, uh, oh, uh, three. Okay, we've got the three rocks. We're going to need the top of a palm tree. So we'll do, excuse me, we'll do this. We'll just whack this one down. 
One, two, three. I think it's only eight. It used to be. No. Okay, ignore me. It used to be. It used to be more than that. But our beating tree up skill is now a lot higher than it used to be. So that's fun. Um, we can do that. We can do this. Turn that into sticks. Okay. So what do we need now? It is. Oh, 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 oh the coconut. 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 Co. Nut. Okay, cool. We can uh, consumables quickly make the coconut flask. Go in here, get a free drink. Mmm, that was a free drink. Okay, now we have all the stuff. I think uh, it's gonna be here. Whoa! Everything, almost everything is in in within ninety degrees in front of me, except for one leaf. Uh, so I can make the water still, and I'll make it on the beach. Bonk. Right. So that's got one fuel in it. I'm going to let this generate water from the fuel that's in it and the rain. So it should be able to capture water from the rain. Good. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just get by with one, I think. Uh, one lashing. Oh, we were going to make ammunition and then we didn't because, well... Okay. Okay, we took advantage of the storm in order to generate water because the water is precious and we do need it. Ooh, 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 there's a snake in there somewhere. Ooh, I don't know where he is. Okay, gonna grab that. Can't see him. Can I grab that and that? Two snakes per island. Two snakes per big island. And they do move around, which is why we took one out because if you don't, you're going to be running around like a fool, and then the snake will just come and bite your ankle, and then you'll be looking for pee-pee. It'll be like, oh, where is my pee-pee? I do not know where my pee-pee is. And uh, people are like, wow, I can't help you there, buddy. If you don't know where your pee-pee is, I can't tell you where your pee-pee is. And that's what you need to make antidote. Or if you don't have the antidote. The are you serious? We were almost tippity-top on health, and then you had to do the... Think. No, I am not interested. <sighs> I don't want a pamphlet. Oh, would you like to take a pamphlet? No. Take a minute to set up a donation? Nope. Uh, that kind of implies that I actually say one fuel still and one water. So we've got a, a free water. In fact, we've got two free waters because we've generated. Uh, we use the coconut. And the top tip, if you um, if you want to drink coconut water, always put... What is that out there? Oh, it's Big Rack. Oh, there's more stuff out there. Nice. We haven't explored everything. Um, yeah, if you drink straight from a coconut once, you're okay. If you drink straight from it again, you'll poop yourself. Because that's what happens. You'll explosively poop everywhere. And that'll be hilarious for everyone who isn't you. And then... Well... Yeah, I don't know why they introduced that. I think it was people were just surviving straight off coconuts without having to do the farming and stuff. And they were like, um, can you do, do the f take part in the farming? There's the snake. Just slithering away like a crazy person. So we're going the opposite direction, knowing that it's fairly safe. I know there's a fruit there, but I don't tend to eat them. I tend to leave them so that we can farm them later on. Uh, we have one of 12, so we have a bunch of leaves, that's fine. The sun is coming back. It is now 11.50, so nearly midday. Wonderful. Marvellous. We only got one free water out of that. Okay, all right. Um, I'm going to go and go one, two, three, and then I'm going to generate spear and arrows. One, two, three. So we have 11 spear and arrows. Uh, oh, we can generate another one. Twelve. Look at that. Oh, and another one. What? Thirteen? Unlucky for some, but it doesn't matter actually. I don't mind. Uh, we can use these to create water. So I'll do that. Bonk, bonk, and then a bonk, and a bonk. There we go. So we have water. We can get food. Well, I mean... We've managed to... Oh, no, 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 his head's going to wobble. Oh. No, put the crab... Stop stop the wobbling. There we go. Uh, good, excellent. Oh, what we should probably do is investigate that shark. The one that was like... Oh, I 
I'm just uh, being a shark, no? Uh, I don't see him. And it's also weirdly... Oh, because the sun's directly overhead, isn't it? Yes, it is, because that's what happens. That's what happens. I don't see him. Oh, because he won't spawn, because we... So when you go... You have to go out far enough into the water for the shark to spawn. Otherwise, he literally doesn't exist. Literally doesn't exist. So, that's fun. Um, I think it used to be that they did exist. And you would just see them swimming around your island. And you'd just be like, oh, there's a shark swimming around the island. Well, I wonder if he's okay. But no. No, no, no. Things are different. You have to swim into the zone. And I can't remember what the zone's called. The zone of curiosity. The zone of teeth. The tooth zone. Not to be confused with the tooth fairy. That is a very different zone. So we're going to swim this way. Ooh. I feel like Jacques Cousteau with just less dynamite. What? Jacques Cousteau had dynamite? Yes, he did. In the early days in marine conservation, what they would do is they would mark out a grid and then toss a stick of dynamite on it. And then all the stuff that came to the surface was in that grid prior to being dynamited. The music has stopped. There's a ghost of Jacques Cousteau. Mmm, don't know why. Uh, and then somebody pointed out, I think it was a documentary, and somebody pointed out, that's probably not the best way of uh, preserving marine life, you know, just to toss a stick of dynamite upon it. And um, I think everyone was much in agreement. They were like, um, yeah, that's probably not the best way of doing that, old chum. So he stopped and became even more of an actual marine conservationist. Don't like any of this. Got a full lung of air. Gonna go for some. Hello. Um. Swimming. Bonk. Put that in my pants. Okay, go. Ooh, hello. Ooh, food. Food and water, because it's rations. Look at this. I was going to sing the song from Little Mermaid, but it's gone completely out of my head. Something, something about spoons. Look at my spoons. Aren't they so nice? Give them a lick. They taste like rusty spoons. Yeah, Little Mermaid was weird. But then it was Hans Christian Andersen and the original story. She went straight and... I think the, the witch gave her a dagger and was just like, yeah, you want to be a mermaid again? You just got to cut out the heart of the prince. And uh, yeah, Hans Christian Andersen's story is a metal. Like, just, just savage. Completely savage. We're just kind of wandering around, ankle deep in a in a pleasant uh, Pacific environment. Just keeping our eyes out for Amelia Earhart. Hmm, that's weirdly far out. That's far out, man. Oh, oh, it's you again. He did spawn, and he's going to swim into the island because he's a he doesn't know he can't. Uh, that's the carbon spear gun. So, we got the new game plus spear gun. Hi, I'm going to have to kill you. It's unfortunate we've come to this. I can kind of see him swimming away. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, four. Shouldn't really use a spear gun on land because uh, it, the, the, the rubber, uh, little rubbery bits do prefer. What's that? Six, seven... Still alive. Should be just for like one more hit. Uh, I need to see him though. Come for me. Bonk! <laughs> Eight. Oh, that was a. Oh, that's still shark music. Why is there still shark music? What? Did the shark music get stuck? Did it play. Oh, uh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I think the shark music can get stuck. Unless there is another shark out there, I think it can actually get stuck if you kill a shark too quickly after the music starts. So, hmm, I'll have a little swim out, I'll have a little look. Although it is kind of, again, late in the day, 1523, so the, the underwater environment is a little bit cloudy, a little bit... Je ne sais quoi. I don't know. See, you can't. You basically, can't see anything underwater. I know what I'm talking about. 
Yeah, I think that's what it is. We killed him just as the music started. Yeah, there isn't another shark out there. At least I don't think there is. Hippity and hoppity. Uh, no. Rocks. Seaweed. Yep, that's just going to keep playing. Wonderful. Wonderful. I think it did get fixed. Or... Oh no, it stopped. Um, I think it did get fixed for... No? No, it's still playing. Oh, it loops. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing any... Oh, I'm so nervous now that there's something out there swimming around looking at my butt that can swim into the island. That's not a good thing. Oh, what's going on? It's looking at your butt. Yes, I know. I, we've already had this conversation. I also can't put that cloth in my pants. Ah, <sighs> so yes. What was I saying? Oh yeah, if you want to drink from the coconuts. Um, I think we, we didn't quite close that conversation loop. So if you want to drink from the coconuts, you can. But you can only do it once. If you turn it into a coconut flask, you will get free water. So you can drink as many coconut flasks as you want. Because you get one free water from the coconut flask. And it won't make you sick. Good, well, I'm glad we can have that conversation. We've been here like five minutes and this beach is already a beach of death. Look, we've got dead things all over the place. We've got the shark music going on in the background. Uh, we've got this lad here who was just swimming into the island. It's just like, ooh, I've been swimming into your island. Yes, I know, you're so annoying. Um, we can make a fire pit. Three rocks and some sticks. Mm, yeah, I'm probably should probably do that if we want to cook any of these lads. I mean, we do have a lot of rocks, uh, a lot of um, edible bits and pieces here, so we could probably do that. Uh, gonna need to get some more sticks. Ah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Gonna beat this tree up. So we'll just beat the tree up. Do I need a lasher? Because we can cook two steaks on the open fire. We don't need to. We don't need to smoke them. Um, we can make a smoker. It's not even a problem. Um, okay, fine. We'll do this. We'll since we built that there, we'll build the fire here, and then. Oh no! Don't want to quick craft. Um, pick these up. Then we can craft a fire pit. Ah. <sighs> One lashing, three sticks, and a cloth. Well, we can do that. Oh, whoa, whoa. Why oh, would you go away? I don't like it when you nibble on my toes. Which you'd have thought would have been something that people would like. But no, it's it's not. Uh, especially if you're a crab and the nibbling is the pinches. Especially if it's a coconut crab as well. Ooh, that would be a, that would be a bad thing. Just be like... Oh, I'm a coconut crab. I'm going to nibble on your toes. Okay. Oh, no. That's wrong. Because you'd have no toes left. Uh, I'm going to need two more sticks. And then... Oh, see, those those shadows are kind of glitching, but they're not, not nearly as bad as... One and two. Not nearly as bad as they could have been. Okay. Okay. So we'll come back. Make the, make the smoker. So we're kind of... We're a long way. I think that was the island we started on. Well, not the island we started on, but the session we started on. Um, and then grab you as the sun goes down on what is... Oh yeah, literally is going down on what is a beautiful day in paradise. So I'm going to get the needle lashing. Then I can build the... Uh, why don't I... Oh, I have two sticks. What? Hang on a second. I thought I had more sticks. What is... Uh, I, I, uh, oh, oh, I need to beat up more trees. We, why do we don't have a lantern? Oh, we do have a lantern. I'm mm, going to avoid the crabs. Got to avoid the crabs. Do we have a lantern in here? No. Oh. Nope, turn it on. Grab it. Put it in my pants so we can actually see what's going on. Leap, swim, drop, torch, turn it on. Now we have two torches. 
But why do you have two torches? Because I need some sticks. And the way to do this is to drop that down. And now I can still see what I'm doing. And bonk. Ooh, harvesting leveled up. Wonderful. Wonderful. And two and three. And we can grab these. Uh, nominally, you can grab them before they hit the ground. Okay, right. So we should be able to craft the smoker. Q&E rotates it. And then we should be able to no, craft the kindling. So yes, we can now... I mean, let's just do it anyway. Light the fire. Give us some... Uh, Give us some ambiance. Uh, do I have a knife? I probably do. I probably do. Let's whip this out. Hello, old chum. In fact, we could just save and sleep. Put this out, save and sleep. Yes, good idea. So we can actually see what we're doing. So we will save, and then we will sleep. Ah, <sighs> so we wake up on another beautiful day in paradise. The sun is rising up over the uh, over the ocean. The heli carrier is still in the bay. It, that thing is enormous. I was worried it would be too big. It is a four by four raft, which is just yeah, it's massive. It, it's huge. Um, anyway, we've made a smoker. We've got a beach full of death. We've got some water. Food and water situation isn't too bad, so that's all all up to date and we found some bits and pieces wonderful i am gonna leave it there for the time being so if you like this definitely leave a little like leave a subscribe and if you do subscribe click the bell button that give you notifications when videos go live and i take a while i'll catch you next time